I'm Dave Collins with CleverHiker.com. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the seven principles of leave no trace backpacking. Learning to practice leave no trace backpacking is one of the most important skills any backpacker can learn. Doing it right will minimize your impact on the environment and leave pristine wilderness areas for years to come. The amount of backpackers traveling into the wilderness is increasing every year, and more people traveling in the backcountry means that a greater impact is made on the plants and animals living in those environments. The seven principles of leave no trace backpacking are a set of guidelines that will help you focus on critical ways to reduce your impact on the wild. It's easy to think that your impact is going to be very small, but many travelers making small impacts on well-traveled areas can add up very quickly. The principles of leave no trace are not really a set of rules, they're more of a personal commitment. If you make the choice to travel in the backcountry, it's your duty to protect and preserve the natural environment as best you can. The first principle of leave no trace is plan ahead and prepare. Any good backpacking trip starts with proper planning. Proper planning will lead to enjoyable trips where you're able to reach your goals and increase your safety on the trail. You'll also reduce the risk of unexpected situations arising, which is critical to leave no trace backpacking. An example of this would be showing up at a trailhead and realizing that there's a campfire ban in effect when you had planned to cook all of your meals over open flame. Now you're left with the choice of either eating cold meals, delaying your trip to go out and get a stove, or breaking the rules and possibly setting a devastating forest fire, all because of poor trip planning. Use maps, guidebooks, and online resources to learn about the area that you'll be visiting. Plan a detailed route and learn about current trail conditions so there won't be any surprises when you get on the trail. Set appropriate goals based on the abilities of your group and the terrain that you'll be hiking in. Attempting to cover too many miles in difficult terrain is a common error that can lead to unplanned campsites that can damage the environment. Travel in small groups whenever possible and schedule your trips to avoid times of high use. A large group camping in a single location is going to do more damage to an area because there'll be more people, more footsteps, more shelters, and you'll trample more ground. It'll be better if you break your group up into smaller sections and camp at separate locations. Plan your meals properly before your trip. Repackage all your food to minimize waste, reduce your pack weight, and make your meals easier to cook. Reducing the amount of fires you have by bringing a small stove and cooking one-pot meals will also reduce the impact on the environment. Plan ahead of time for how you're going to store your food at night to keep your food away from animals in the area. Allowing animals to get into your food will damage their foraging instincts and can be one of the most harmful things that you could do to a wildlife population. The second principle of leave no trace is travel and camp on durable surfaces. The important takeaway from this principle is that even your footsteps are going to leave a lasting impact on the environment. Traveling on trails and hard packed surfaces is the best way to minimize the impact of your footsteps. Never cut switchbacks or take off trail shortcuts. Camping in established sites is the best way to reduce the impact of your campsite. Never camp in areas that are undergoing restoration. Remember, good campsites are found, not made. Make sure you arrive at your campsite a few hours before dusk so you have enough time to select a good, impacted site. Also, make sure you camp at least 200 feet away from water sources to allow animals an undisturbed path to the water. If you're traveling in an area with no previous impacts and no trails, Stick to durable surfaces and minimize your damage by dispersing your impact. Spread your group out so you're not walking in one straight line when you're traveling through undisturbed areas. That will allow the area to recover faster. Always avoid trampling softleaf plants and wetland areas which will be very slow to recover. 
Avoid walking or camping on living vegetation whenever possible. If there's no other option, minimize your impact by traveling on rocks or hardy vegetation like dry grasses. The third principle of Leave No Trace is dispose of waste properly. If you pack it in, pack it out. There's absolutely no reason to leave any waste in the wilderness except human waste, and even that needs to be disposed of properly. Little bits of trash add up quickly and will take a lot longer to decompose than you might think. Even organic waste, like apple cores and orange peels, will take months or even years to decompose. And worse than that, organic waste can alter the foraging habits of animals in the area. So remember, always pack out your trash, even if it's organic waste. Don't burn trash or food because they often won't fully burn. Animals may dig up the remains, and little bits of trash will stay there for years to come. Clean your dishes at least 200 feet away from your campsite or any water sources. Strain out any remaining food particles and disperse the dirty water in a wide arc to spread it out. For human waste, make sure to get well away from the trail and at least 200 feet away from any water sources or any campsites. Dig a cat hole that's at least six to eight inches deep and squat over the hole to do your business. When you're done, cover up the hole with the dirt that you dug out. If you're using toilet paper, use it sparingly and pack it out in a sealable garbage bag. If you're camping in one area for multiple days, make sure you spread out your cat holes to reduce the impact. If you see trash left on the trail by other visitors, do your part and pick it up you'll be helping to reverse the damaging impacts left behind by careless visitors. The fourth principle of leave no trace is leave what you find. Take only pictures, leave only footprints. Resist the urge to leave your mark on an area or take a small souvenir. The whole point of leave no trace backpacking is to minimize your impact so it appears that you were never there. The fifth principle of Leave No Trace is minimize campfire impacts. Having campfires while you backpack can be a great way to keep warm, cook food, and have entertainment while you're out in the woods. The downside to having fires is that they leave a lasting impact on the environment, but fortunately, there are Leave No Trace guidelines that will help you to enjoy fires while minimizing your impact. Check fire regulations and fire danger levels before you travel. Also consider the possibility of rain and think about how much dry firewood there's going to be available for your campfire. Use existing fire rings in established campsites whenever possible. If there isn't a fire ring, don't build a new one. Instead, use a fire pan or build a mound fire to reduce impacts. Keep your fires small and burn all the fuel that you put in it to ash. Stop adding fuel to the fire well before it's time to go to bed so you give it time to burn out. Only collect firewood that's already on the ground, is about the size of your wrist or smaller, and can easily be broken by hand. Leave all standing trees or bushes alone, even if the limbs appear to be dead. When you're done with your fire, scatter any unused wood back into the wilderness and put your fire out completely by soaking it with water and stirring it. You'll know that the fire is completely out when it's cold to the touch. When you're sure that there's no heat left in the ashes, scatter them over a wide area far away from your campsite. Remember, not having campfires on a backpacking trip isn't the end of the world. It's often much quicker and easier to cook over a lightweight stove and enjoy the stars from the warmth of your sleeping bag. The sixth principle of Leave No Trace is respect wildlife. The wilderness is a great place to glimpse animals that we might not ever have a chance to see in our daily lives. The key to respecting their habitat is to reduce the amount of interaction between humans and animals as much as possible. Never feed wild animals and always protect your food by storing it properly. Animals fed by backpackers can become a nuisance and they can also become dependent on humans. Keep your distance from wild animals and don't stress them out by following them, approaching them, or trying to get a reaction out of them. Don't bring your pets into the wilderness unless you can control them and plan to keep them on leash. Allowing your dog to run through the woods chasing wild animals is just about the most disrespectful and stressful thing you could do to wildlife. 
The seventh and final principle of Leave No Trace is be considerate of other visitors. Avoid making loud noises, be courteous and friendly to other travelers, try not to stand out or make a scene, and whenever possible, give other travelers their space and privacy. Step off the trail to let larger groups and hikers heading uphill have the right of way. Simply put, treat other backpackers with the same type of respect that you want to be treated with. Now that you understand the seven principles of leave no trace backpacking, you'll be able to enjoy wilderness areas without leaving any lasting effects. If you follow this simple commitment, we'll all be better off and our wilderness areas will stay beautiful and pristine for years to come. I'm Dave Collins for cleverhiker.com. Hike light, hike smart, and have fun.